Hello, today I'm going to show you how to draw the American flag. Let's make a new document. Go to File, New, change the units to inches, set the width to 21 inches and the height to 12 inches. Press Enter. To see it better, let's set the artboard color to gray. Click on the light gray color. Change the stroke to None. Select the Rectangle tool and draw a rectangle from one corner to the other. Go to Layers and click on the little arrow to open the sub-layers. Now lock this path. First we will draw red and white stripes. And here are the colors we will be using. Click on the red color to select it and we will create the tab stripe. Click on the artboard and type 19 inches for the width and 0.7639 for the height and press enter. Now press the letter V for the selection tool, click on the rectangle and holding the shift and alt keys on your keyboard, move it down to make a copy. Let's change the fill color to white. Now drag a box to select both stripes. Click on it and holding the shift and alt keys, move it right under the white stripe to make a copy. And press Ctrl D five times. Deselect. Click on the bottom white stripe and press the delete key on your keyboard. Next we'll draw the blue rectangle with 50 stars. Let's make a new document, go to File, New, set the width to 7.6 inches and the height to 5.35 inches. Press Enter. To make things easier, let's set a grid. Click on the Line Segment tool, hold, and move it down to select the Rectangular Grid tool. Now double click on it and type 7.6 for the width, 5.35 for the height, set the horizontal dividers to 9 and the vertical dividers to 11. Press Enter. Now click on the top left corner, hold and drag it down to the bottom right corner, then let it go. Let's lock the bottom layer and now we will draw our first star. Go to the ellipse tool, click on this intersection and type 0.616 for the width and 0.616 for the height. Press Enter. Now let's move the center of this circle to this intersection. Deselect. Change the stroke color to none and the fill color to something bright. Select the star tool. Now click in the center of the circle, hold and while pressing the shift and alt keys, stretch the star all the way to the edges of the circle until it snaps. Now using the selection tool, click on the star and holding the shift and alt keys, move it to this intersection to make a copy. Now let's do the same with this one. And let's make three more copies. Now let's get rid of the circle, click on it and press the delete key on your keyboard. Next we will copy this row of stars four times. Let's select all of them and move it down here to make a copy. And let's do it again and two more times. Now we will create four rows of five stars in between the existing ones. Let's copy this star and move it to this intersection. And let's make four more copies and space them equally. Now 
Now select this row and let's copy it three times. Next, select everything and let's change the color of our stars to white. Now right click with your mouse and select group. Let's turn off the visibility of the bottom layer. And now we will draw a blue rectangle. Change the fill color to blue, select the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle across the whole artboard. Right click with your mouse, select Arrange and Send to Back. Press Ctrl A to select everything, right click and select Group. Now we will move everything to our first document. Go to the Selection tool, click on the artboard, hold, now slowly drag it up to the first document, wait until it opens and still holding the mouse, drag it down, then release the mouse. Now let's move it up to the corner, deselect, press Ctrl A to select everything, right click and select group. And finally let's add a warp effect. Go to effect, warp and select flag. Change the band to 12% and click OK. Thanks for watching, bye bye.